Here's our tail of the tape for this, our opening contest, our welterweight contender tournament, Tong Chai, 22 years old, 5'10", the 72 and a half inch reach, shines him with a slight edge. And just like all the ties we see in glory, the big professional gap, 171, but still very new to kickboxing, where 55 fights, to Shineson, a lot of those are more kickboxing, but that KO ratio of 74% plays in Alan Shineson's favor. Here are our semifinal rules. Three rounds, three minutes each. No elbows, throws, or sweeps. Two knockdowns in a round, or three in the fight, and it results in a TKO. Our judges scoring is based on the following prioritized criteria, starting with knockdowns, followed by cumulative damage inflicted, followed by number of clean scoring strikes with an emphasis on spectacular techniques. Finally, if there's no clear advantage, judges are looking for aggression. We've got open scoring tonight. Five judges will score the fight on a 10-point must system. After each round, they will post the scores on our screen so those of you watching at home will know exactly where we, hand, we stand. The fighters will know too. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this tournament semifinal is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. And introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, this Argentine national champion has won the belt in three separate divisions. His professional record, 50 wins with just five losses. 37 of those wins have come by knockout. He stands 5 feet 11 and 1 half inches, 1.81 meters. And his official weight, 169 and 1 half pounds, 76.8 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Argentina, ladies and gentlemen, introducing Alan Superboy Shineson. His opponent standing on my left and fighting out of the white corner, a WMC Intercontinental Champion who became a Lupini Champion at the age of 17. His professional record impressive, 136 wins, 35 losses, and 46 career knockouts. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, 1.78 meters, and he weighed in at fight time at an even 169 pounds, 76.7 kilos. He's here in Rotterdam tonight, fighting out of Bangkok, Thailand. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the Thai Terminator, Tong Chai. And the referee in charge of this bout, Atsushi Onari. Hey, head out. This is glory round, it's okay. Uh, three minutes, three rounds. Two knockdown system, it's okay. She can. You're going with Superboy or the Thai Terminator here, Joe? Well, it's very, it's a clash of the styles again, but uh, I mean, it's very hard to call. Both very Eddie. powerful. Fight can end hey. at any moment. Round one scheduled for three. Nice one, two, right out of the gate by Shineson. Okay. Shine Sin listed as an underdog in this fight, according to MMAOddsBreakers.com. Tong Chai has really good knees, known as a knee specialist in Thailand. He just landed a good one on Shine Sin. And for those watching a glory tournament for the first time, Joe, what's the strategy knowing potentially you have a fight a few minutes after this one? Well, a lot of guys take different approaches. Some like to box in the first fight, save their shins for the second. Some guys coast in that first fight, but the problem with that is if you don't win, there is no second fight. So in my opinion, you got to go the first just like the second. Shines and clearly the aggressor here, but just ate a right hand, delivered a left of his own. Tong Chai's kicks are absolutely devastating, but his boxing need, needed at least a lot of work. He lost to Myrtle Grunhardt, really seemed out of ideas, didn't know what to do when Myr Myrtle Grunhardt was landing punches. So the issues with ties is they're used to clinching as defense. In close range, they can grab you, tie you up. But in glory, you can't hold, you can't clinch. So they have to learn to box a little bit more, and boxing defense is a little bit different. Shineson has fought all over South America in Thailand under kickboxing and full Muay Thai rules. So Tong Chai won't be throwing much at him that he hasn't seen before. Yeah, he does have Muay Thai experience as well, so fighting Thais isn't something new. But this is a special tie we're talking about. 
Yeah, one of the best to do it. And believe it or not, Tong Chai, who's 21 years old, has been fighting for 10 years. Yes, he made his debut at the age of 11. He's really coming in with that powerful right hand. But he's also open to them, so they're exchanging good hard shots back and forth. Good high kick from Tong Chai. And a straight right hand. The first part of the round belonged to Shineson. Tong Chai sort of turned that around a little bit. Both guys have landed some clean shots with their boxing and with their kicks. As good as Tong Chai is with his kicking, he says his knees are his special. Even with all his experience, he's still nervous with the kickboxing rules. It's still something new to him. Really close first round between Tong Chai and Alan Scheinson. So let's get to know these two fighters a little bit better. We start in the white corner with Tong Chai Sit Song Pinong, which is his full name, but the second name for Thai fighters actually represents their gym. Yeah, the, the last name is always to their gym, so he's from the Sit Song Pinong camp. Uh, same with Sit Chai, the lightweight champion. I mean, he's known as a knee specialist, and you can see him using it a lot in the clinch. And as we mentioned before, uh, recently returned from a, a tour of duty where they allow him to take time to go train for this fight. Aren't they so nice? In the other corner, Alan Scheinson, a 2014 national champion out of Argentina. Yeah, and he's bringing a lot of good power with his hands and his low kicks. In this round, I feel he needs to come forward a little bit more and, and get those combinations flowing. You want to hear another army story about Tong Chai? Let me hear it. Apparently, they said, hey, you're a tough Thai boxer, huh? He goes, do you think you're tougher than a mosquito? So they buried him up to his neck in dirt and made him sleep outside so the mosquitoes stung his face all night. It's brutal. Do not join the Thai army. Stop, stop. Here's our judges scores from the first round. It was very close. Three giving it to the Argentinian, two to Tong Chai. There's a lot of back and forth action. Both landed clean shots, very similar in, in damage. So very close fight. Stop. Let's take a look at the leg kicks from round one. Shineson with nine landed compared to two for Sport Tong Chai. Shineson really likes the low kick. He said he's watched a lot of Tong Chai's fight and he feels he doesn't block them well. And he's surprised because he says Tai is usually good at blocking the low kick, but he thinks Tai Chai, uh, Tong Chai won't have an answer for his low kick. You're watching the ninth ranked welterweight and Shineson face the 11th ranked Tong Chai. The winner of this fight advances to the final later tonight and we'll meet the winner of our next bout between Ivan Dannenberg Stop. and Jimmy Vino. Thank Nick Hemmers giving the instructions for Alan Shineson. Nick Hemmers calling for the low kick. This is a welterweight tournament, contender tournament. Nick Hemmers also trains the welterweight champion of the world, Haruk Gregori. Absolutely. Even uh, if Alan Shineson wins this, it'd be uh, both Thanks, Hammers Thanks. fighters. Fight! Fight! Too much cringing. Yeah. Okay? Next one, okay? Fight! Tong Chai being warned for clinching, which you cannot go, do in go, glory. Go, go, go. Fight on the inside, guys. Let him rip. Yeah, and Tong Chai's keeping his hands Stop. open. He isn't grabbing, but there is no action in Fight. there. Wanari is going to break it up. Eventually, going to have to warn. Good jab from Shineson. He's got to start throwing that jab a little bit more. Good 
kick there from Tong Chai. Stop! after. Another tough round to score, and certainly not an aesthetically pleasing round by any means. I still feel the best shot for Tong Chai is in the clinch with those little bit of knees. Um, it looks like he's throwing them a little late, but still doing a lot of damage. You see Shine Chin taking deep okay. breaths every time too, too they much land. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Next one, okay? That was definitely um, a better round for Shineson, I feel. Um, yeah. Not too much, but like Nick Hammer yeah, yeah, saying, he needs to put more volume together if he's gonna really decide this fight. He's just waiting okay, a little too long, okay. according to Nick Hammers. Okay, take this out. Fight! We've all heard the phrase, it comes down to who wants it more, but when they're inside and just standing there against each other, no one's throwing punches. Whoever outworks the other guy could win this fight. Shineson getting four of the five judges to agree that he won round two. Fight! I really like that angle Shineson's throwing now. He's not just staying straight in front of Tong Chai. According to those scores, it's either man's fight to win. Oh, and a nice right hand by Tong Cha. It looks like he's hurt to the body. His hands are down. You're right, Joe. He's covering low. Let's see one of those kicks from Tong Cha. And a left hand on a straight right from Tong Cha. Some improved boxing for sure. Definitely. He's not just walking into the clinch anymore. Not the green Push, push. But see those inside clinch knees. Shine, they, they keep getting up on Shineson. There was a body shot. You could hear Shineson go, ooh. The winner fights again in about 30 minutes. Both men suffering some damage here. Time's up. New turn. It looked to me, tell me if I'm wrong, Joe, that Tong Chai allowed that mouthpiece to fall out. Well, it kind of works for Sainzin because he was hurt to the body and now he can recover. Okay, this is last one, okay? Hey! Tashi Onari, our referee again, go, go. talking Stop. about the clinch. Go, go, go. Tong Chai Stop. has to be very careful. If a point is deducted hey. here, he's most likely going to lose the fight. This is where Tong Chai needs to maybe take his head kick, punches to the head. Shineson's really holding his elbows low to protect his body, opening up his head. Hey. Do you think it could also be an arm injury, perhaps? Well, he seems to be throwing his punches as well. Hey. You're surprised Tong Chai's not throwing more kicks. He's really just focused on, on attacking hey. the body. But why not attack the body with kicks? I agree. I would Stop. change levels as well. Change the focus. Because right now, Shines is just protecting. If you go to the head or back to the leg, he'll open up that body again. Stop! Because right Stop. now, Shines is just holding everything to the body. Hey. Tong Chai needs to change his focus, change his levels. Stop! Stop! Crowd showing hey. their disapproval as 30 seconds remain in this round Stop. three. Hey. Well, Tong Chai might be Stop. holding more, but Shineson's doing absolutely nothing to get away from him. Hey. Yeah, they're just crashing distance. But you see Tong Chai grabbing, and especially with Shineson protecting the body, he wants Stop. to stay close as well. And as you can see, the crowd electric over this contest here in round three. Stop. So that's it. Who's fighting again later tonight in our in our final of the welterweight contender tournament? Will it be the Thai Terminator, Tong Chai Sitsong Pinong from Thailand, or will it be Alan Shineson?
from Argentina? That question will be answered when we return to Glory 51. We welcome you back to the Rotterdam Ahoy Arena. Jump into some highlights from our opening contest here in the welterweight tournament. And round one was really close. Both guys exchanged good right hands, good boxing. Both had their moments with their kicks. Round two, Shineson seemed to pick it up a little bit more. Seemed to outscore Tong Chai. And the judges scored him with that round. Round three was more of Tong Chai. He seemed to do a better job at finding his hands with his boxing. And then eventually he started going to the body, hurt shines into the body, and that seemed to be the difference in that round. Here's our strike statistics. Punches the edge to Shineson, as are the kicks, but needs some devastating ones at that. Lean towards Tong Cha. Ladies and gentlemen, after three tournament rounds, we go to the judges scorecard. Let's look at the totals from our five ringside judges. They give us back a split decision. Two judges scored about 29-28, Tong Chai. Two judges also have it, 29-28, Shineson. And our fifth and final judge also scores the bout 29-28 for your winner by split decision. And now advancing to the tournament final, Tong Chai, Sit Song Pino. Al Alex Shineson cannot believe it. It's like he lost his keys. Yeah, Hammer's Jim does not agree with that decision. What do you think, Joe? Well, I, I could feel that it could ease, the first two rounds could have easily gone to, si uh, to Shineson, that third round to, um, you know, Tong Chai. But I mean, it, it was a very tough fight to call, and I'm glad I'm not a judge on this one. So the third round was the deciding round. And Tong Chai wins it and advances to the tournament final later tonight.